Well, hey, how are you? Now look, if you're like a lot of entrepreneurs right now who regularly run in-person live events, the chances are you're having to go virtual. And in this video right now, I'm gonna show you my entire setup behind me because we just did it for the very first time and it was a massive success. Hey, what's up? It's Chris here and welcome back. I do appreciate you joining me. So yes, changes are very much afoot at this particular moment in time. And today I'm going to be talking about one really major change that we've had to make to our ecosystem as a business, as well as what that means for our coaching clients as well. Now, if many of you have never come across me before or what we do at youpreneur.com, we're fundamentally a business education company that focuses on helping people build profitable, future-proof businesses are based around their expertise, their personality, and the people that they want to serve. So ultimately, they're personal brand business owners. They're people like authors, consultants, coaches, speakers, content creators, anyone really building a business based around them and their tribe. Now, part of our tribe are also coaching clients, and we would always normally love to be coaching our people in person. And it's what we've done for a long, long time, almost a decade, to be honest with you, right the way from six to 12 people around the table for an entire day masterminding with each other, right up to our annual Youpreneur Summit, which takes place in London, England every November, where we have over 300 people from all around the world flying to London to spend a weekend learning, networking, and masterminding with each other. But because of everything that's been going on, we've had to make some changes. And very recently, we decided that we didn't have much choice in the matter. We were going to have to take our April Youpreneur Incubator Mastermind Day, which would have been in person in London, and turn it into a virtual event instead. And I'm very happy to announce that we did that for the first time yesterday, and it was a massive success. In fact, actually, many of our coaching clients even said it was better in a virtual setting over an in-person one for a number of different reasons. So that's rewarding. You know, the team and myself put a lot of time and energy preparing what you see behind us so that we can ultimately show up for our customers just the same virtually as we would have done in person. And today, right now, I'm gonna walk you through the entire setup so that you can see exactly how we did it. Now I will say, I wanna caveat before I pick up the camera and start walking around the desk here, I wanna caveat the fact that there was a lot more tech on this table, stuff like extra monitors, extra iPads, extra messaging devices and phones and microphones and all that stuff that actually got removed after the morning session because quite frankly, it was just overkill. We didn't need it. So what you see behind me and what I'm about to give you a tour of is exactly what we used for a day and a half's worth of coaching with over 50 people from all over the UK and Europe. And like I said, it was a big success. I'm filming this video, by the way, so that if there are other people out there who are having to take their in-person events and put them into a virtual setting like many people are right now, hopefully this will give you a little bit of a, uh, an idea as to how you can set things up for yourself so that you can run that live event properly, uh, as well as obviously for the attendees to see that if you put in the effort, it genuinely can be a pretty seamless operation. So without further ado, I'm going to go pick up that camera and show you around. So here's the complete setup uh, on my desk here in the home office. There's definitely more cables under there than there usually is. Um, and just sort of, uh, just a lot more stuff on here than there usually is. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take you from left all the way over to the right and sort of give you a little bit of a tour here so that you can, you know, maybe in some way, shape or form, uh, you know, replicate this if you decide to take your online or rather your offline events and, and put them online. So over to the left to begin with here, um, what I've basically done is I've, I've brought down uh, an extra uh, TV. I think it's about 48 inch TV, I think. So that I can basically have a bigger view of all of the attendees actually sort of, you know, that Brady Bunch look of everybody on the screen all at once. And then I could use my computer screen in the middle of here uh, to kind of focus in on chat and managing 
the Zoom room because we're using Zoom as a software on this as well. So, um, and obviously I'll, I'll layer in some B-roll here so you can see exactly what this looked like as well. It's all turned off at the moment, obviously. So basically what we're gonna be doing so that I can do that is we'll use my laptop here, which will connect to the TV with a HDMI cable. Um, and then what will happen is I'll be able to kind of almost sign in to the, uh, to the Zoom chat that we're doing via an attendee link. So it won't be the host screen that I'll see on here. It'll be the screen that I see as if I'm an attendee myself actually tuning in. Over here, we have the Rode Procaster. Now, you don't, know to go, you, you don't need to go super pro like this, but uh, this is what we use for when we're recording podcasts. Um, there's What I love about this is lots of presets on here, so things like music, or stingers, intros, and things like that. Um, and then obviously you've got all the levels here uh, for, you know, as and when you bring in guests and all the rest of it as well. And we can play music through here via the phone uh, and everything as well. So this is a really nice piece of kit. It runs for about 600 or so dollars. So it's not cheap, but it is something that I think a lot of people that are gonna take this seriously are gonna start diving into. Um, the mics that we use are Rode as well. They're Rode Procaster mics. Uh, these are not cheap. They're about 200 or so dollars each. Uh, but the quality that you get out of them are, is just phenomenal. They're what they call dynamic microphones, so you do need to talk directly into the mic here to have that broadcast quality. But let me tell you, the difference is night and day. They're, they're just, it's beautiful. Now we've got the ring light here. This actually won't be on me. I want to clarify, this is the newer ring mic as well. Um, I'll link to everything on Amazon uh, below all this stuff, uh, below the video as well, so you can check it all out for yourself. But we won't actually be using the ring light directly on us. As you can see, in terms of how it's actually set up at the desk itself, that is actually just ambient lighting. We get a certain amount of um, natural light in here anyway, so we don't really need to have it focused on us. It's gonna be set in a warm light. So you can see we've got like a cool lighting or a warm lighting effect there. It'll be a nice warm lighting effect to give us a little bit of ambient lighting off to one side of the room. Uh, 27 inch iMac, everything is on um, that main screen there again. This is just what the attendee will see. And this is basically what I will be looking at the large majority of the time. We use a Logitech, I don't know the exact number on here, but again, I will link to it. I don't know the, net, the, the model number off the top of my head. I've had it for a good few years, but I'll link to it below, don't worry. Um, and then we will be using an iPad. This is an iPad Pro. Um, and what I'm gonna be doing, as you can see, I'm connecting it just via a USB lightning cable because I'm gonna be streaming my iPad screen directly um, to be able to sort of draw on the screen and highlight certain things. Uh, I'll be using the Apple Pencil for that as well. Uh, these are my blue light blocking glasses. I don't have them on all the time, but generally from about four in the afternoon onwards, most evenings, uh, I will be wearing those to make sure that I'm blocking out all blue light so I can sleep properly. They're Swanwicks, Swannies, they're phenomenal. I love them, I'll link to them below the video as well. Now this is really the last piece of real kit here that we'll be using. It's just another MacBook Pro. But what we're gonna be doing is my wife will be sitting at her desk, which is on the other side of the room here. And she's basically going to be um, pulling out certain bits and pieces from the chat box inside of Zoom. Yeah, I really wanna be focusing on presenting and showing up for our, for our clients and making sure that I'm addressing them properly and looking at them properly. So really, this is where we're gonna basically just have a messaging app opened up. It's likely to be WhatsApp, it's what we use for the most part. And what will happen is she'll be pulling out comments and questions that happen on the actual call itself and then popping them into a separate chat box on this screen. So when it pops up, even though I'm gonna be looking at this larger screen, it'll be quite obvious to me and I'll then be able to kind of just glance over to the screen itself, read it and then get right back to the main call itself. So I've never done anything like this before and I'm really interested to see how it's going to actually end up working. So there you have it, I hope that was beneficial and helpful in some way, shape or form. If you've got any questions, just go ahead and comment them below. Please make sure that you like the video. Hit the subscribe button as well, because I do post every single week with lots 
of information, tactics, and strategies to be able to help you grow a better, more future-proof, focused, and profitable business. I'll see you next week. Bye for now.